Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm super excited for today's video because today we're going to do a what sold video. So we're gonna look at all of the sales that I had on Poshmark and eBay in the past week. So we're looking at Wednesday to Wednesday when I'm filming this, it's October 12th. So this is gonna be October 5th through the 12th. I'm gonna break down all of my different sales that I had, tell you guys how much I actually made off of them as well. So it should be a good time. And I am interested to know from you guys too, I feel like since Poshmark made their algorithm change that I have not been seeing an increase in sales like I would like to have seen. How are you guys doing with your sales though? Have you guys seen an uptick in sales or is yours about the same? I feel like mine is probably right about the same. I had a slow start to the month and then it started picking up this last week. So this week we're gonna look at a pretty good amount of sales. In total, I sold 21 items this past week so far. So I sold 21 items and four of those come from eBay, which is a great week for me on eBay. And the rest of those are all from Poshmark. So we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna look at every single one. Some of them are small sales, some of them are really big sales. But if you guys like this sort of information of what's selling right now on Poshmark, and all of this kind of like behind the scenes info on reselling, then make sure to give today's video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button because it really does encourage me a lot when I see those thumbs up and also um, when I see that I gain some subscribers from these videos. So thank you guys so much, but let's jump into these sales. So the very first thing that sold in this week was this bundle. So I gave them a price. I have a bundle discount. So if anybody bundles any three items, I think in my closet, they automatically get either 20 or 30% off. So they bundled these three items and then they sent me an offer for $65. And I decided to accept, even though that is a much lower price than what I have things listed at, this bundle is made up of this vintage embroidered sweater vest that I got in the bins, this pair of pink vintage shorts I got at a Goodwill, and this new pair of jeans that I just showed in a recent video that I got on a half off day at a Goodwill. So I think I probably had less than $10 into this bundle. I didn't spend very much on any of these pieces. And so when she offered $65, I decided to just take the sale because this was early on when I was really struggling to get any sales going. So that I will take. And so from the $65, we made $52. And since I only paid, I think like $2.50 for the jeans, a dollar for the sweater vest and maybe four dollars for the shorts that's still a pretty good amount of net profit so i'm still happy with that and that just goes to show you too that especially if things are sitting around like those two vintage items were sitting for so long in my mind i sold those jeans that i just listed the same day for fifty dollars and then i just split the fifteen dollars between the other two pieces like in my mind Sometimes that makes me feel better and I'm just moving older pieces, but also that was literally that pair of jeans that I picked it up. They were new tags from the brand Addicted and they had those really cute heart cutouts on the side. I had just listed those the same day. So I was happy that a new item could help move some older items. I will take that any day. Then next up, I have this Athleta Girl soft gray hooded sweatshirt. I think I, I cannot recall if I got this in the bins or if I got this at Second Avenue. Either way, I sold it for $20. I'm leaning towards a bins pickup, and if it was in the bins, I would have paid a dollar or two for it. And then it sold for $20, so not a huge sale, but still pretty good. And then we made $14.28 from that sweatshirt. And I think I originally picked that up because I thought it was a woman's size, and it turned out to be like an extra large girl size. Um, but it still turned out to sell for over 20 bucks. So I'll still take that as a win. Then next up is this anthropology dress that I recently picked up at Second Avenue. So I picked this up for, I believe, like something like $5. It was not very much at all. And then it sold very quickly, probably within a week or two, for $36. From $36, we made $27.08. And I've actually sold quite a few long sleeve anthropology dresses recently. We're gonna see another one here in a second. Um, so I feel like if you can find some nice anthropology kind of knit dresses right now, that might not be a bad pickup. I don't have a huge quantity in my store, but I've been selling them quite frequently, which is great. Now, this next piece is something that I have been waiting for it to sell for so long, it feels like. And it finally sold. I had this pair of John Paul Gaultier pants listed at $120, which I don't know if that was too high. I'm not sure. I had them listed for a few months. I found these wool and cashmere pants in the bins. And so I paid like a dollar for them, which was an amazing price to pay. And then we sold them this week for $80, which was 
very good very fine with me so from $80 since that was an offer I didn't have to pay any shipping discount we made $64 from those pants so $63 of net profit from that pair of pants this also happens to be the pair of pants that I talked about in a story time on a work with me video where I said that people are the worst <laughs> that was my uh, thumbnail <laughs> if you didn't see that I basically was really excited to show these pants to another reseller and when I held them up showing this reseller that I was going to resell these they're like oh no those are not gonna fit you so honestly a little happy to have those move because it's sort of a rude comment and every time I saw those pants I just remembered that you know so I'm kind of happy to have those go um, but that was that sale an amazing sale you'll probably see that in my month in review in my sales because that was a really nice and high sale so happy with those pants. That was such a cool pickup in the bins. And then this next piece is another thing that's been sitting for so long. I recently relisted these on Poshmark and they sold. They are this Coolabura by Ugg Rachel Slide Mule. They sold for $40, which I believe was my full asking price. So I was really happy with that sale. Um, but they were those like perforated leather kind of slide on mule kind of the wrong season for them to sell but they did so i'll take it they were a women's size 11 and they sold for 40 dollars, so we made 32 dollars at the end of the day which was a an amazing sale for the middle of fall going towards winter i was happy to move some sandaly kind of things then next up is another piece I just relisted. Relisting really does help me move my sales. Um, I have some of these pieces recently that I just relisted. That Coolabura, the next three sa four sales, five sales maybe, are all things that I recently just relisted. So they were great pieces and they just didn't move right away. But as soon as I relisted them, they moved. So if you guys don't have something that helps you relist, like Posh or VA, I highly suggest it. I just set it to relist and delist for me. It's super easy. I always have a link in the description if you want to try it out. It also gives you 20% off your first month, I believe. But um, you can copy listings using Poshmark and then go back in and delete the other one. It's a little bit more time consuming, but if you are having stale listings, I would highly suggest that. Um, next up is this Urban Outfitters Maroon Rib Sweater. Like I just said, I just relisted this and as soon as I relisted it, I think it sold in a day. So this is a size extra small, which is probably why it sat the first time, but now we're heading into fall and it's a great color. So it sold for $28 and I have been really passing on a lot of Urban Outfitters because I hadn't been moving the ones that I already had, but maybe I'll start picking up some more like fall pieces. We'll see how it goes. For $28, we made $20.68, and I believe I picked that up for like $3.99 or something at a Goodwill in Indiana, so not a bad price and pretty good return on my investment, I think. Then next up, we have this APC Rue Madame Paris Chambray Cotton Denim Button-Up Shirt. It's a size small. This is the only time I've ever found this brand. <laughs> I found it at Second Avenue. I believe I paid like $3, $3.99 maybe at the most for this. And it finally just sold for $40. I had to relist it. And it sold after I relisted it within a few days. And so from $40, we made $30.28 on that top. And that's a brand I would probably look at, at least run comps on again before picking it up um, because it did sell for a good amount. 40 bucks is nothing to sneeze at, but I am interested to see if other things would perform as well from that brand, APC. I'm interested if you guys have sold that one, let me know in the comments. Then this next piece is one that just sold. What's today? The 12th. Sold two days ago. It was this vintage pink Pendleton 100% silk tweed blazer in a size 10. I actually put L Woods in the tags as well. Maybe even I did it. I put it in the title too because it was very like legally blonde pink kind of blazer to me. I thought it was really cute. So this just sold for $25. I believe I had it listed at maybe 40, but I was happy to take 25. I believe I got this in the bins. So I made $20 after Poshmark took its fees, which means I probably got about $19 of net profit at the end of the day, which is very good, very happy with that. Then next up is this pair of Sorel sandals. And these I picked up at a Goodwill for $7. They sold for $33 and I made $26.40. So right about 20 bucks of profit, which I will happily take. 
I am excited that they sold before going into winter because I know they would have sat for another year. So very happy to see those go right now. I've been, I've been getting a lot of traction on them lately, but again, I also just relisted them. So that's probably why. And then next up is a piece that I have had for so long. This I have had since Jeremy and I lived in an apartment over a year and a half, maybe two years ago is when I picked this up. Hi, Mimi. Odie, sweet boy. Hi, baby. Hi, Odie. Are you happy? Hi. This is a piece that I picked up in the bins and this was early on in my reselling career. So I was just happy to see this thing go. This is this asymmetrical Zara like peplum top and all my pictures are flat lays. The whole thing is just like not my best work, but it sold for $18. So we're gonna take that and run with it. I made $14.40. I have had this thing stored for years. So making $13 on that, I would have given it away for less probably. Um, so I'll take that as a win. And so Odie's right out of camera shot. He's just like panting. They just got back from a walk. It's so cute. <laughs> The next piece that sold was another anthropology long sleeve knit dress. It is this anthropology moth shaker stitch tunic dress. So this is very interesting like stitching to it and it was nice and thick. It sold for $32 and so we made it $23.88. I think that I got this in the bins if I'm not mistaken. So if I got in the bins then I made you know at least 20 bucks of net profit on that. So not a bad sale again. And then we sold this on Jeremy's Poshmark. It was this Chaps shirt. I think this came from his personal collection. So he sold this for $11. And this is, I would never have picked this up to resell, but this he actually listed before we got married. So we have had that listing in his closet for, I have to say, what, three years probably at this point. Anyways, it sold for $11. So we made like eight bucks maybe on that shirt. And then a very exciting sale happened. I recently showed this Alexander McQueen dress in a come thrift with me. I was very excited to find it. And then I listed it and within probably an hour or two, I had somebody buy it for $96. I listed at $120. I was trying to move it quickly. And my Posture VA sent out an automatic, I think 20% off maybe. And so we sold it within an hour or two for $96, which means we made $75.08 for a very quick sale. I paid, I think $10 for that dress. My average cost of goods that trip though was like $5. So $5 into a 96 sale is amazing. And then I picked up this Calvin Klein red textured wrap dress from Second Avenue on half off day. I think I paid like two or $3 per item that day and it sold for $24. So we made $17.48, about $15 of net profit. So I loved this dress. I picked it up based off of style and I really felt like it was a really cute, flirty, kind of just fun date dress. So I grabbed that and that one moved pretty fast too. I think I've only had that listed for about two weeks, maybe at the max. And then my last Poshmark sale before we hop into the eBay sales was this pair of mother jeans. The only mother jeans I've ever found. I got these at Second Avenue for $6.99 I wanna say. So for $7 and they sold for $64 today, which means we made $49.48. And I've already back, I've already packaged everything up. Oh, you can kind of see it in the corner. I have all my packages sitting over there. So some of these things I sent out because this is a full week of sales, but I do have quite a few things I'm sending out today from those things I just shared with you. Oh, I need to send out my eBay sale too. We'll get into that in a second. But now let's hop on over to my eBay sales. And then at the very end, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much I sold and exactly how much I made. So that will be exciting. So we have one, two, three, four sales on eBay. The first thing is a piece that sparked a renewed um, sense of, oh gosh, I'm doing eBay wrong on me. It is this Peruvian Connection Turkish Pima Con floral dress in a size large. I had this listed at $70 and then somehow with Vendu, I had put in allow best offers, but like automatically accept offers over a certain amount. That's my only gripe with Vendu is like, I don't want to have to accept offers over a certain amount. That is not great because sometimes I get a lot of scams where they offer the exact same amount as what I have it listed at. And then it just becomes a whole issue of me having to relist everything. 
So I think it automatically accepted an offer for $40. And I would not have accepted a $40 offer on a Peruvian connection dress like that. But I just decided to, you know, honor the sale. I didn't want to cancel on somebody. Um, but I definitely did not accept that offer. Anywho, I sold it for $40. Um, I'm really confused on how to figure out exactly like what my takeaway is on eBay. So I'm assuming I made probably right around $30. Also sold via a promoted listing too. And they sent an offer and it got accepted without me wanting to accept it. So I probably made like 20 bucks on this dress. This is like the biggest fail of the day for sure. I am really upset about it. But you know what? You live and learn. I'm still trying to figure out eBay. The next thing that sold on eBay was this pair of Anthro Pocuo in the letter press jeans. These also sold via promoted listing, um, which is not exactly ideal since I had not switched my percentages down yet to 2%. So I'm not exactly sure how much I made from this one either, but from selling for 35, hopefully I made at least 20 bucks off of those. Hug. And then this next piece is a Bowden dress. Now this one, I had lowered up my percentage before this one sold. So I know I didn't lose that much in my sale. And this was a great sale for me. This was a green new tags, Maggie Pont long sleeve ruche, sage green long sleeve dress. And it sold for $60 on eBay. So I'm hopeful that I'll make at least 40 to $50 from this dress, especially since it says it sold via promoted listing but I only had the 2% on. It shouldn't take too much of my profits for sure, but that was a great sale. And then something that literally sold today and I still need to ship out, I need to go add it to my boxes was this pair of Doc Martens that I got in the bins. So this was a pair of Doc Martens leather um, like sandals, they're flip flops in a men's size 10 and they sold for 40 bucks and they were not a promoted listing. So we love to see it, we love to hear it. So hopefully I can make 30 bucks on those 20 I'm not sure I still am trying to get the hang of eBay for sure I'm definitely much more used to Poshmark but that's the name of the game I'm trying to figure it out and I mean I did sell four things this week so I will take those sales for sure and run with them but those those are my sales I'm still you know working on eBay I've been taking some of your guys's suggestions and helpful hints and I am making progress definitely not my biggest money maker yet definitely still Poshmark but I'm hoping I can even out the numbers a little bit in the coming future but yeah those are my sales from this week and I added them all up and in total when I take all of those 21 sales and add them we made $752 in sales this week which I will count as a win from those 21 items my average sales price so 752 divided by 21 was $35.80 so almost a $40 sales a price per item which is doing okay especially since I had some lower sales thrown in there too that were only like $11 and things like that I did have some higher sales though too, the $96 sale and then I had another one that was close to 80. So I think that that is a win. I'm hopeful that that kind of a sales number will continue. And if I could make $800 each week, 8, 16, 32, that's about $3,200 in sales, which would be an amazing, amazing month for sure for me. I know my kind of goal for each month is to sell right around $3,000 to $4,000 in total sales. So we're getting there, we're getting closer. I'm just hopeful that sales will pick up here soon because uh, my first week, or the, I guess the first four days of the month were really slow before this week. So let me know how your guys' sales are doing in the comments down below. I would love to hear how the algorithm change on Poshmark has affected you guys and also how eBay is treating y'all right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.